Back to FA Cup action on Sunday against Altrincham. I'm guessing that's a team you already know quite a lot about going into this game. We've uh, we've done a bit of work on them pre-season because obviously they were the first league game, um, and then obviously had them watched uh, by somebody last week. They've I think they've slightly changed the way they play uh, from pre-season, but still hold a, a big threat. Uh, still got some very good players. So um, and, and like like Kidderminster, you know, you know, you have to take people's league positions out of the equation. You know, they're coming, they're coming to York on a on a on a team that's going well on a big occasion. Um, so you know, we're fully focused on everything that we need to do. Yeah, and FA Cup games like this is it a nice distraction from the league games? Yeah, I mean, I suppose there's I suppose there's less less pressure. There's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a game that. Um, the fans can come and they might think of it a little bit differently. Uh, so, so yeah, in that respect, it, it can be. Obviously, we still want to do well in it. We still, uh, we're still desperate to get into the, the second round. Would be fantastic. Some a chance of getting a championship club. Third round would be an absolute dream. So, that's that has to be a goal. That's a goal for any sort of non-league club or any any, any club that uh, that is you know not putting the FA Cup as a, as a trophy that they consider winnable. Um, I'm not saying it isn't winnable, by the way. I'm just saying it's a little bit more unlikely. So, uh, so yeah, we we we'll be fully we'll be fully focused on on trying to get in that hat again, and that's that's what it's all about. I mean, we, you know, we've done really well against Stockport. Um, we played well, uh, which always feels great to get into the hat that way. Uh, against Earlham and Buxton, especially sort of Buxton, was a struggle, um, but we still got in the hat, and that's what that's what cup football is about. But in an ideal world, we'd do it. The Stockport way, but we've got no doubt it's going to be really tough. Yeah, and you know York have a sort of rich history in the FA Cup. Um, 1955 against Newcastle United semi-final. Um, is that something you'd like look to be adding? Not, not necessarily semi-final, but uh, <laughs> history you'd like to add to. <laughs> we pick the semi-final. I'd snap your hands off right now. But no, I, I, yeah, I mean it's all about you. You go into a football club, especially a football club with rich history like York, um, and you're hoping to add that little bit of history to it yourself. Uh, you know, FA Cup might not be the way to do it. Might not be the way, but but we're hoping to, you know, we're hoping to, we're hoping to make a, a, a mark on the club, me and Mickey, uh, by by being here. We, we've we've started well, but you know, we're not even. We just just started November now, so there's there's so much football to be played. There's so much to do. So, um, but you're right. You know, the, the cup is a is a little bit of a distraction. It's 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 almost a different type of uh, preparation. For, for the week, um, but um, but still something we're desperate to do well in. Yeah, and you've had you know, some of the best atmospheres out of the way at Bootham Crescent. Um, does that generally help your team going into games? Yeah, look, I think obviously when I, you know, when we arrived, um, there wasn't a brilliant buzz around the place, and, 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 and you know there was a lot of change, and but we're sort of going a, going a long way of trying to do that. And I think you know when you when you see see the. Stockport game and you see the under the lights and you know the, the Longhurst stand with all the phones going and all that was a fantastic night so um, so yeah long may it continue but you know that our job is to get the results on the pitches and then and by by producing results and performances and a team hopefully that the fans can be proud of a team that doesn't give up which we haven't this season yet uh, and, and they've kept going till the end even games we haven't played well we've, we've dug in we've, we've drug, dug out points and you know, thus far we've been successful in the cup as well. So you know, I think most most sets of fans, York City fans, more so than than, than most maybe because of the, the the previous three or four seasons, um, they just appreciate a team that's given them everything. And I think you know that's one thing you that's one thing our lads will give you. Yeah, and as the training schedule changed at all this week, being a Sunday game, has it been a bit better having a bit longer to prepare? Um, just just the extra day. So m Monday was sort of a. It was a, a day where I give the lads to, to rest up. There's two or three feeling things after the after the game at the uh, at the weekend, so they um, so the, you know it's a chance for them to get that right as well. And, and we've um, we've then just done everything a day later. The only, the only the, probably the biggest preparation difference would be the time of kick off, uh, and that's just for the lads um, the lads getting getting the sort of pre matches and things. They end up being a breakfast, not a lunch. So. Uh, but you know that's that's minor. You know it's 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 been it's been a good week. It, the only the, the biggest downside of this week's been the, the, the rain again. You know the pitches have, have been very tough to get any kind of quality on. But you know we've got fantastic train facilities. But even even ours have struggled this week. Yeah, and obviously Paddy McLaughlin being off of his new burn 
Um, are we likely to see him feature back now? Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think Paddy, obviously we've got seven subs as well, so but unfortunately for, for all lads, I me and Mickey doing an, a head count, if everybody's fit, that's available. But luckily, one's going to miss out again, which is which is not you know it's not nice. It's a, it's, it's one of the you know, one of the worst sides of management, leaving people that are playing well, training well, good good lads out of the squad. But you know that's that's uh, that's why you have a squad. Uh, they understand. They've been great about it. So unfortunately, one will miss out this weekend as well.